Today we're answering all of your most embarrassing questions with our special guest co-host, Dr. Ruth. And our next question... Yeah. <laughs> our next question is a home video. It comes from Crystal in Pasadena, California. Dear doctors, I have a really embarrassing question. Um, I need help grooming down there. Am I supposed to take off a lot? Am I supposed to take off a little bit? What is this? There's ingrown hairs, there's irritation, and I really need to have some kind of guidance with this. This is really weird and awkward. Before, before we get into this, if you've got this much down there, you definitely need to groom. Yeah. You definitely need you a need trim. You need to close on with that. <laughs> that is well, I'm natural. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The first thing I would say, enjoy what you have. Look in the mirror and look at this wonderful creation that you are. Let's right. not say yeah. that everybody has to look like the same. No, you have to right. Point. It's a personal yeah, a really choice. Point. It's a personal Absolutely. choice. Absolutely. We're having a lot of fun, and we always joke around yeah. because, you know, we talk about risque things, but your point is so valid. But she's absolutely Celebrate right. What there's you different have. viewpoints, and it's a personal choice, so there's no real dictation of how much or how little. Although, I have talked on the show with a gynecologist. A little bit of trimming actually can help if a woman's complaining of odors because sweat mm. can get trapped into the hair, especially if you've got the hair. Yes, thing. sweat and, and other things. I'm going to have sweat by the end of the show. Man. Sweat, it can sometimes decrease infection. Some people say the opposite. Mm -hmm. but. Um, so a little trim, you know, can be fine. Some people will go the complete, it's not working on it. what do they call it, the Brazilian where everything's off versus a little strip. So all of it's a personal choice. So I should and leave sometimes some in the middle? Brazilian, leave it in the middle, exactly. Jim. Leave it in the middle. And we've shown <laughs> stencils. And you can have fun with it. You can make a heart. You can make a tree. We've shown stencils and things like that. But you know go. what? <laughs> I think Dr. Ruth is right in celebrating the female identity. You probably got those questions back in the the day, but but how about manscaping now? It's not just about women. Yeah. Men, and we've talked about yeah. it on the show. But don't you think it's very important how you present that package too? Absolutely, but he should look in the mirror. And I tell you no, what he has to do. Trim up, you'll look, look a little. Well, you'll look bigger. No. You trim up. He has, he, it doesn't matter size. <laughs> size does not matter. I know it's what you do with it. But if you do want to know how to do it. You can use trimmers. Obviously, women, you can use different shavers. You want to actually shave with the growth of the hair so you don't get ingrown hairs. There are safe ways to do it. You want to use a lubricating type of lotion or, or shaving gel. Um, there are things to protect your vajayjay so you don't get little nicks down there because that's worse than getting those nicks Ouch. up there. So that's what this so, is. So, yeah, these are little, um, big, it's a, called a vajayjay visor. What's a clitoris? A oh, you know what? They you are, you are, you're a doctor. You can no, say things. I can say. This. this is the name of the product. This is the name oh, of the product. This is to, like to yeah. pro while you're trimming to protect, protect things. The, um, the, you kind of uh, kind of trim around it. Yes, to protect that area. So those are those are the tricks. If you want to do a little architecture down there, 